When you look at how much we've incurred on the HPC facility, it's really a great indication of how much momentum we've been able to build across the entire project. When you look at us almost completing engineering at this point and we're finishing all of the final stages of, of fabrication and delivery of equipment to site and the actual construction is really starting to ramp up, um, it's very exciting for all of us. Some of the milestones that we've completed at the PP facility is piling program has been completed. Uh, we've completed the, most of the major concrete work and we're moving into the next stage of the project, which is quite exciting. We're starting to erect the structural steel. As you can see behind me, we've erected the tower that the uh, purge bin sits on. So the purge bin lift was the last major lift that we had to complete on the PP facility and it was quite a process. The PP plant is currently on schedule and on budget for 2019. We really wanted to make sure that we were out of the ground, completed all our piling and foundation work. As you can see, we're starting to erect the glycol coolers. You see a lot of steel that's starting to come out of the ground. So in the PP plant, we're where we want to be. As part of our execution strategy, we really wanted to focus on Alberta fabrication. And our Alberta suppliers have really come through for us on the PP project. We've been very fortunate to work with a number of very experienced contractors. Contractors like Browns and Force, Bird. We now have Fleur constructors on site who are helping with uh, the erection of the, of the purge bin steel that you see behind me. And we've recently brought Wayward Industrial onto our facility. So we're really starting to ramp up the, the number of contractors that we have on site because we're starting to move the overall center of gravity of the project to the field. And that's very exciting for us. We're making tremendous progress in the PDH facility. They're at the point of the project where they've basically landed all of their modules and equipment and they're really getting into the pipe welding and electrical installation part of their programs. When you look at the CUB part of our facility, they recently brought on their main uh, construction contractor, PCL, and PCL is now in the concrete installation part of that program. Um, they're also starting to install their pipe racks and they're well into their fabrication process overall for their pipe and steel and, and module assembly. It's really important that we plan safety into everything we do every day. We're proud of our safety performance to date, but we all know that we can't let up on safety and we continue to make sure that we put every single worker on our site through our safety leadership program. All of the management team and leadership team participate in the safety program on site so that every worker knows that we want them to go home safe every day. What I'm most excited about as we progress through the rest of 2019 and into 2020 is that we've now delivered the majority of our equipment to site and the majority of our structural steel and piping is starting to arrive. And when you look at the team of people that we've assembled through both uh, interpipeline and with our contractors at site, I think the people are really starting to feel the overall excitement of this project, how big this project actually is, how complex this project is, and I can really start to feel that people are getting excited about what's ahead of them over the next two years.